questions. We're going to put this up on the military newspaper website yeah. as a Q&A and, of course, you know, promote the whole music festival. Yeah. So, um, so I'm going to begin with this little introduction. Okay. I'm talking with Max Weinberg, who will be playing with his big band at the 31st Street stage at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront this Sunday at 8 p.m. and again at 9.45 p.m. And this event is free. So, Max, thank you so much for talking with us and for performing at this year's American Music Festival. Well, thank you, Catherine. I'm delighted to be performing at this uh, year's uh, festival. It's going to be fantastic. you got the ocean as the background there, and there's going to be a lot of vendors. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm particularly uh, pleased to be talking with you and uh, uh, for the military newspapers. And uh, I invite everybody down. We're going to play at about 8 o'clock. We're doing two shows, 8 o'clock and 9.30 or so. And it's a big swinging band in the mold of the... 60s big swinging bands like Count Basie and Buddy Rich and Maynard Ferguson and the original Tonight Show band uh, and by my account the best uh, Tonight Show band Doc Severinsen so it's a, it's a lot of fun this particular type of music 15 pieces oh my gosh I'm not I'm not sure if the stage is big enough for 15 this should be fun it'll be fun <laughs> it, you know it's a loud brash uh, roadhouse kind of crew that I have with me and uh, uh, this kicks off our full tour which will continue up and through December around the country. So, we're, you know, it's a nice way to sort of get the uh, end of the summer started. Well, now, you have performed at a few places. I know you played at the Count Basie Theater. Yeah, we've actually been on tour most of the summer. Uh, we did about five weeks throughout, mostly northeast, midwest, a little bit uh, uh, down uh, south of New, you know, New Jersey and the southern states. Um, and it's a new venture for me uh, at the age of 59. This is a long-held dream of mine to play with my own big band uh, on the road. Uh, and the reaction has been great because people aren't used to seeing a big band, 12 horn players. Oh, they sure. just don't see that anymore. And economically, I can understand that, but uh, it's a music that, in my view, never died. It never went away. And we're happy to bring it to the people. We also do a whole segment of... Uh, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band songs done big band style. So if there's anybody out there listening who's a fan of Bruce's music, uh, I think they would get a, a, a kick out of the kind of thing uh, that we're doing and Bruce, uh, the approach to Bruce's music. Well, I have to confess, I am a big fan of Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. Thank you. And I've seen you perform about 50 times with them. Uh-huh. Uh, 25 just the last couple of tours. Um, so, so what... What I wonder, because we all know how notoriously secret Bruce is, even with, with his own band members, so were you, did you just have this band on the ready, ready to go out as soon as Bruce said, okay, I'm tired, I'm going home, or, or how did that work out for you? Well, I started this group, I started playing this kind of music uh, about 10 years ago with college jazz ensembles, um, sort of as an extension of the work I did on the uh, TV show Late Night with Conan O'Brien. And I'd go out and I'd sit in and I'd bring my charts. And it was a way for me to familiarize myself with the particular vocabulary of big band drumming. And last year uh, in Los Angeles, I put together the first edition of this band. And we played around. Uh, we had a big debut down at the Fountain Blue Hotel in Miami Beach uh, last uh, Christmas week. And uh, in January, I moved back to New Jersey after the end of The Tonight Show and decided, you know, once the fall... You know, the, the spring and summer and fall came around that I would regroup this band uh, with new, new York and New Jersey musicians, uh, none of whom I'd ever played with before, uh, and see where it went. The reaction was great. Uh, the bookings started to come in. Uh, so it was something that I had thought about doing for a long time. But, you know, between the TV show and playing with Bruce and the E Street Band, uh, most of my performance time was taken up over the last 20 years. So now that I'm on my own, um, I've had the opportunity to do it, and I quite enjoy it. I started on the road, you know, 45 years ago, and here I still am, uh, and it's it's really fun for me. Well, now, so you've got the big band, and you've played with E Street and the Tonight Show band, and, of course, the Max Weinberg 7. So, so now you've just told me these are new musicians you're playing with now, where these other bands I've mentioned have been a mixture of different of, of people in the same band, correct? like La Bamba and, and that horn section. And 
So these are all new people you're working with? Or oh, they, yeah, these are uh, all new musicians uh, that I met in the New York and New Jersey uh, area over the last several years. Uh, um, you know, it's a small community up here, and when I decided to you know, put this band together, I put out a couple calls to guys I had played with uh, who were located in New York, and, uh, you know, one guy tells another guy and another guy, and <laughs> suddenly you have a big band, particularly when it's composed of horns. There's no guitar in this band. It's a rhythm section of bass, drums, and piano, and 12 horns. And, uh, you know, these guys just jumped on it. They, they jumped on the music, the opportunity to play this kind of... Uh, music and to be able to solo all night um, so it's 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 a new thing for me but it's not really it's an extension of what I was doing the kind of music that I that I brought to the, the late night landscape through the 90s and early uh, 2000s well 12 horns that's extraordinary I love a band with horns so I'm really looking forward to your show thank now, you well I hope you come down I hope oh, everybody who's listening comes uh, down absolutely and it's, and it's free yes it is free let's reiterate that and I will be at both shows. Um, now, is there any recording of this new band in our future? Will I be able to buy a CD soon or a DVD? Uh, you may someday. I have an idea for a record, kind of a, uh, a concept album. Uh, you know, I haven't done anything yet. Uh, we're really at the beginning of this process, but you, know, you might someday. You know, I've, recording is not something that's foremost in my mind. I've done a lot of recording throughout my career. And, you know, what I really want to concentrate on is, is playing live and going places I uh, both have been and haven't been. Well, it's nice to hear, as, as as long as you've been doing this, that having that live experience is still enjoyable and important for you. Oh, there's nothing like it. And I started, you know, back in the late 50s doing that. I've been fortunate to, uh, you know, have so many of my musical dreams come, come true through the years. But it all was centered around playing live for people, whether it was in a TV studio or on a concert stage with Bruce and the E Street Band. So this is, you know, this is what musicians do. They go out and they play. And uh, so it's, it's for me, it's, it's nothing really different than I've always done. It's a slightly different f approach and format with the big band. But I really enjoy playing for people who enjoy the music. And it's physical, it's muscular music. It's not, you know, very sort of lightweight and precious. It's not light jazz by any uh, stretch of the imagination. It uh, really physically moves you.